hey guys, hey guys, it's Vaughn, and welcome back to another episode on the Pixelmon server. Someday, this server may actually have a name, and then I can say, Welcome back to another episode of Pixelmon on the Pixelmon named server. But until that day, it's just the Pixelmon server. I am in the Swamplands because I want clay, and I noticed that somebody's got a treehouse here, which I don't know if is new or if I just didn't see it last time or whatever. Ooh, ooh. I don't know how to play this game. Anyway, uh, so I thought that was interesting. Uh, I don't know who it is. I, I just landed on it. I saw, I was like, this is a staircase. This was, Somebody made this. I don't see any signs or chests or anything. I told um, Paul Soros and uh, Jumbo, I think is his name, about it. And maybe one of them started building something here. But I need clay. I need clay bad. And, ooh, that might have been a bad idea. Nope, we're fine. Uh, I don't want to grab the clay that's right next to this guy's house, so I will I will go out a little bit further. We we've been talking to Terrace, and we're probably gonna get some some more islands floating out, floating out, popping up. Uh, we're playing in one six four, so we can't make a mesa biome, but we can make <clears throat> what looks like a mesa biome. Like just build it on a desert, because basically this entire world was made in world edit, as you can tell, because Swamp biomes don't look like this in regular Minecraft, right? So, I think what he's doing is he's going to make some fake Mesa biomes and then add them magically to the world, and that'll give us a nice amount of clay. But, it's going to be hardened clay, which is great, which is great, because I need hardened clay more than I need regular clay, but if you want bricks, then you're still going to need to have Swampland. So that's what we're doing out here. We're going to... We're going to get some swamp plant. And you know what else I kind of wanted to do? I wanted to find a nice big thick tree. This looks like it might do. And just make a little house. Just a little, you know, just dig in and put a door on it and call it good. Oh, wow. This one's hollow. Are they all hollow? I didn't know they were hollow. That. Wow. Perfect. Ha! 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 Perfect! Okay, well, I've got a little house now. I meant to bring some glass and stuff, too, so that I could actually make, like, windows and a door and stuff. I guess it's not necessary, or it's not like there's not sand here and stuff for me to do that. So, I'm going to do that. Uh-oh, what's Beef doing? Here goes nothing. Are you going for a... <laughs> it's trying to swim lava. Good job. <laughs> uh, by the way, we are on with uh, me and Dyer and Beef. They're all cool people. But I am the coolest. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not. Alright, so let's getting asked what team I'm on. Yeah, what team are you on, Dyer? Dyer is streaming right now. He better be on the River Rotata's team. That's the best team that there is. Um, so I don't, I'm not going to make you guys watch me decorate or kind of deal with this house, but that, that's like, that's, that's just enough room to like live basically. Actually, I'm going to put a stair there so we don't really need a block there. Okay. So I'm going to do this off camera and it's dark Anyway, oh no, it's not, it's not night. I thought it was night, but that just goes to show you how dark these dang swamps are. So I will be back, I guess, in a bit. There's my little derpy house. It's nothing fancy, but it'll work. It's got a nice little inside. I didn't have any wool on me, so I couldn't make a bed. And I guess that's that's for the better, because that means that I haven't set my spawn out here. So if I want to get home quickly, I can just kill myself. Uh, Terrace has copied the map. I think I mentioned this. And so at the moment... Uh, we can't build anything because if we do, it won't get copied over. I'm going to go AFK at Vaughn's place so that I can snag as much quartz as possible. <laughs> Apparently, in the new map, there's a Poke Center that has spawned on top of my pool. I'm not really sure. And so people are saying that they're going to go tear it down and steal the quartz. I don't really know. I, it, I have a bad feeling about this map. I'm excited that there's going to be clay biome, but... I'm worried that not everything is going to work properly, but we anything that's on our, in our inventory or in an ender chest that is gathered during the time that he's re, uh, backing up the map will get carried over. So I took, uh, oh, I got some clay in here. All of this stuff, if I want to keep this stuff, I've got to take it out of this chest because I placed it since then. Uh, but look, I've gotten a bunch of clay, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, I've been out here for about an hour, I think, and I got all of that clay let's just stick all this stuff in there uh, that'll be good uh, I mean obviously with the new clay biome that'll be good but this will be able to I can turn these into bricks if I need to so that's that's extra awesome let's put this glass in here too 
not the torches. And since I was out here, I decided to map the area as well. So now we've got a map of the swamp biome, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, it's a little, a little clearer than the one that we have as a group, so I think that that's useful. I don't really know why anybody would buy it, but I figured since I was out here, I would do it anyway. And I think that's it. Let's grab our ender chest. Let's not leave with that, without that. Um, we need the good old silky touch. And I think what I'm going to try to do... Floor designing the skills. <laughs> I'm tearing it out. Uh, I think she's at my place actually camping. Uh, so I think what we're going to do now is we're going to head back. I th since we can't build... Uh, I think we're going to go hunt for another Eevee and maybe do some leveling and training and stuff. Because that stuff should carry over. Um, Yola has a an Eevee, I think, that he was willing to trade me. So we might see if we can get him to trade that as well. But uh, I will, I guess, meet you guys back at home. <laughs> so in order to get the, the new map to work and make sure that everybody's builds stayed the same and that the new islands would actually materialize not in an ocean biome but in the biomes that they're supposed to be we had to do some weird jiggery pokery and as a result a lot of the stuff was reconsumed so all of the stuff is still there it's just been reconsumed so for instance my <laughs> my pool has been reconsumed and i've for some reason got a giant pokey center <laughs> Giant Poke Center has spawned, so I'm gonna. I've been I've been given permission to take this down, so I guess that's a lot of wool and quartz that I get to have. And then my. <laughs> Apparently this is here, but it's going to have been filled in again, so I'm not gonna be able to. I'm gonna have to dig this back out. <laughs> God. So um, that's interesting. Uh, I guess I will be back with you guys in a little bit because this is gonna take a while. Oh man, well thank you Terra sort of for fixing things mostly. <laughs> I guess I guess I mean I'm really looking forward to having clay and stuff, so so I can't complain, but it's pretty weird. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to redig all this out. Oh man. Shoulda Shoulda planned a little better. Anyway <laughs> it's just Everything looks like it's going to be fine, so that's good. And I'll get to have all of these extra blocks back, so that's nice. So I will be I will be back in a minute. It is now like 2 in the morning, but we, we have got the new map going, which is awesome. And I have taken down the Poke Center, and I've cleared out all of the areas that were... that needed to be cleared out again, and quite a bit more. I've got a couple places where I need to replace blocks and grass and stuff but this is going to be the shape of the house as you can see uh you guys seem to really want me to gunpowder really wanted me to just not take this tree down and build around it so that's what i'm going to try to do i don't know if it's going to work but we'll try and then it's going to go to here and this ponita's like hey vaughn i know you like ponitas come murderize me okay wait that's not what i want to do uh fight so i don't have it's two in the morning i'm my brain is fried i was on the phone with MC, because he, he had to redig out his uh, his base as well, and so both of us are both like, raw, bleh. we were keeping. Oh, look at the little tiny Vulpix! Oh, I caught a little tiny giraffe egg too, like the tiniest giraffe egg you've ever seen. I love getting like the super pygmies. I'm gonna have a whole pygmy team. But anyway, what I thought I might do is try to catch another. Oh my God, is that a tiny little Electabuzz? Look at the size of this Electabuzz. He's so tiny. Hi, little bitty Electabuzz. Um. So, one of the things that I've got, I noticed, you guys keep telling me that I have all these things that I keep forgetting to look at. So, in here I've got XP shares, so I'm going to grab one of those, and we're going to put that on, you guys said, him, right? So, I think that'll give him XP shares from everybody else, -ish, I think. Also, I've got two Firestones, and I think enough to make a Waterstone. So, I think if you give a Firestone to an Eevee, it'll turn into a, I want to say a Jolteon, uh, I'll have to double check to make sure, but I think that that's what it is, or is it a Thunderstone, a Waterstone, I, anyway, I know that I, I looked it up and I've got what one of whatever it is, is it a Waterstone, do you have to make these into a stone, anyway, I want to eventually get, 
Yeah. Ooh, a water stone. Cool. So we're gonna go and try to find ourselves an Eevee. I don't, I don't have enough of anything else to make one of, another stone out of. Uh, very close on both of these though. Uh, and also, when I took down the Pokemon Center, the Poke Center, there was a trading machine and a PC, and I also got. Uh, there were some healers that I broke down because you can't uh, silk touch those. So I got aluminum plates. But do you think I should keep this? Like, it spawned on my house, so it's kind of cheaty. But you can break it and pick it up. So I don't know if I should uh, be allowed to keep that or not. <laughs> it's just a little cheaty, but hey, right? Not so bad. Anyway, I am going to go and try to find ourselves an Eevee. And found an Eevee. I found an Eevee. And let's get him. Did I get him? I got him. Okay. Um, I should have probably put Kubone on my bar again. Uh, let's fight. It's only level 12. This guy's level 8. Please don't kill it. What are Eevees weak against? Let's do the wing attack. I will be really... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Wow. Okay. Well, that's fine, though, because that's just as much as we need. So I've got... Plenty of I made dusk balls because people said that those would be better to use at night, especially if I'm fighting against if I'm trying to capture a legendary because I don't have a master ball, so I might have a bit better luck if I'm capturing one at night. So, but I don't think it's nighttime. It's raining, but I don't think it's nighttime. But I have enough. Oh, that was it. That was it. I got it. Sweet. So right away, uh, we could go up. There's a Poke Center just around the corner. So I looked it up. Uh, the two different or the three different types or whatever types of um, EVs that are left that I haven't gotten yet. Oh gosh, get in my face. Pound you in the face. Suck it, mill tank. So there is a thunderstone, which I don't have. There's the water stone and then there's a fire stone. And I think I'm gonna get the water one because the the model for the water one looks better than the model for the the fire one, which is a shame because you would think that a fire stone would look really cool. Where is this dang Poke Center? You know what? You know what we can do? We can pop on this guy, uh, grab this, give up. And and somebody told me that if I fly in F5 mode, ah, it's a lot easier. <laughs> As you can see, it's much easier. It's much, much easier. Okay, these trees, these trees make it not so easy. Not so easier. That's my face! We are in my face! Okay, I lied. I lied. That's not much easier. Let's go this way. I thought I could take off right here. Can I take off right here? Can we take- can we do this? Please? Buddy? Just go straight up. There we go! That's how you do it. This is how we- there's the Poke Center. Yeah, it, it is much easier to fly in F5 mode. Which is weird. Because usually F5 mode is like, really, really difficult, but it's- I guess it's just easier to see which direction you're facing. Okay, we are on the trees, but that's close enough. Let's get out of this now. Ah! Ah! Here we are! I like this Poke Center. It's kind of hidden, but it, it's like cute and tiny and quaint and right where you need it to be. Um, right where you need it to be. Um, right where you need it to be. Um, <laughs> I guess it's not. Uh, I dug it out once because... <laughs> <laughs> but we reset the map. It's weird because when you redig stuff out, you can see where you've been because there's torches placed. There. Let me in. Let me in. Oh wow. Wow. Why why are you so full of dirt, Poke Center? Whew. Had to clean up all of the dirt, man. But it's an it's a Poke Center again. Oh, missed a piece. There we go. Yeah, yeah, that's weird. I don't know why that one was full of dirt. Uh, usually, it only filled with dirt if it was something that you had already excavated. So this was pre-generated, so I don't know why that happened. Let's heal our dudes, and then we will put the EV on our bar, and I think I've decided to do with the water one, like I said, because the model for the water one looks a little cooler than the model for the fire one. Now, in Pokemon 3.0, that might be totally different, and they might also have... There's one that they don't have implemented, so let's see. Where is the PC? Here's the PC. Let's swap out Furio. Oh gosh, my Pokemons. I have so many. Pokemon Furio goes there. Uh, oh yeah, and I, I told you guys I got the super tiny giraffe rig, so I could show you that too. Uh, Eevee is here. Let's put him here. Where's the... That's that's probably the super tiny giraffe rig. So let me show you the super tiny giraffe rig. Was it that one? We'll find out, I guess. Uh, 
<laughs> I don't think I would ever use this Pokemon, but look at it. Look at it. It's so tiny. It's so tiny. It's like it's like a lap draft. Have you seen like the the fake commercial of like the Russian guy with the the draft, the lap draft? Oh my god, it's adorable. It's super cute. I wish it just looked like a giraffe. I wish it didn't have like the weird butt face. <laughs> you got a butt face. That's awesome. Oh, ah, <laughs> butt face. Hey god. Okay. Uh, enough of that. Let's let's do the Eevee. Uh, wait. I don't know how to Minecraft. There we go. This guy goes here. Pop you out. Oh, this is like a really big Eevee. I wonder if he's going to be... Let's see what his stats say. Stats. Enormous. Ooh, cool. My other two are, I think, both normal. Or no, I think they're huge. Now, I wonder... Let's see. Let's give him the water stone. I think we just click on him. Let me make sure that you don't have to have a certain happiness before I do this and screw it up. Okay. Vaporeon. I'm probably saying that wrong. Va Vaporin? Vaporeon? Uh-huh. Are you st stupid? Why are you stupid? Why are you suff suffocating yourself, dude? Stop it! Stop suffocating yourself! Okay. Uh, Eon, Shiny, Vaporeon. No. Let's see. I think you just give it a Water Stone, right? You, it just says use, use Water Stone. Click Water Stone, right? Water Stones can be crafted from this thing. Yeah. I think, I think that's all we do. So... One thing I wanted to try to do is I'm going to do it in F1 and see if that helps. I can't see, but we're going to... I'm clicking on you. Am I not clicking on you? Oh, there it goes. Okay, so... <sighs> Dang it. See, I wanted to, I wanted it to evolve not with all of this crap. I thought if it was in F1, it wouldn't have all the crap, but I guess I can't click on it in F1. Oh, gosh, it's getting bigger. It's stretching out. It's getting massive. <laughs> it completely changed into a completely different thing. Your Eevee has evolved into a Vaporeon. Vaporeon. Let's see what he looks like. Bam. That is not him. <laughs> that is the giraffe rig. Bam. Ooh. Ooh. So cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like you. I like you a lot more in person than I did in the wiki. You look much cooler in person. Cool. Wait, let's 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 look at the whole team. That I didn't mean to do. We've got three Eevees now, you guys. I don't know if anybody else has got any Eevees on the server. Well, I know people have them. I don't know if they've evolved them yet into things. Oh, that looks cool, you guys. Look at um my Eevee team. I'm happy. I'm happy. Uh, somebody suggested a good name for... I can't remember. I think they suggested the name for him, but I'm going to give it to him because I like it better for him. And the name was Zephyr, which means wind. Or it, I think it means wind. It, it means it's a type of wind. It's let's, let's get everybody back in the box. And then let's put him back out. Well, we don't need to get him out. Let's see. So I think that's a good name, though. Uh, stats. Yeah, so he's huge. Uh, and we're going to name him Z-E-P-H-Y-R. Zephyr. Zephyr. You can look that up. I'm pretty sure it means wind or something similar to that. And... We've still got a Firestone. So we could technically... That didn't take too long. So I might... I might wander around here and see if we can maybe find another Eevee. Because that would be cool. We could get both of them. And then we would just have to worry about the Umbreon. Which is the one that you have to have... You want to catch the Umbreon in a, a friendship ball. Or, I mean, it, it doesn't seem like it's going to be too difficult to get them to become happy. But I'm going to walk around here for a little bit, and I'll see if I find another one. And if I don't, then I'll meet you guys back at the house, and we'll wrap up the episode. And if I do, then, of course, I will bring you guys back so that we can evolve them. I didn't find another Eevee, but I thought to end the episode we could try to find some of the new islands that Terrace made. And I think there's one right off of this island that has just magically appeared so I thought we would fly if the world would ever render we could see it ah, there it is yes so we had one or two biomes that just weren't represented at all 
So now we what we needed really badly, I think I mentioned earlier this episode was clay. So I think he made a fake snow biome. Oh my gosh, these trees. Terrace, you and these trees, my god. What is this biome supposed to be? Desert? I guess it's a desert biome with trees. Oh my god, no wonder it's killing me rendering this. But I think they're supposed to... I told him since we're in 164, there's no there's no uh, mesa biomes yet. So I told him basically just make a mesa biome. Just make your own mesa biome. So I guess this is Terrace's version of a mesa biome. <laughs> Insanity trees, but clay! Clay for days! Oh, I should have repaired my pick before I came here and got it all. Oh man, this is weird. This is weird. I'm so glad that this game does not have mobs because if it did, we would be screwed right now. I don't know about the trees, but this is really cool. So you guys better go give Terrace a big round of applause for <laughs> replacing the top layer of all of this desert with clay. I don't know. I don't know if this is what he wanted it to be, but I'm, I'm a happy man because I do need a lot of clay. And you know what? If I take all of this clay off this top layer, it's not going to look bad because it's just going to look like grass. So that'll actually, it's kind of a savanna actually more than a desert, but whatever. So I'm going to collect a little bit of this, hopefully not to the point where I break my pick. And then I think we're going to head back home so that I can start building off camera. I feel like I've wasted two episodes, so I hope you guys have enjoyed them anyway. Uh, I know I've enjoyed making them, even if I haven't necessarily been putting out content quite as uh, good as I wanted it to be. I would like to have made more progress, but most of my progress today was redoing what I'd already done in the previous episodes. Anyway. Now that looks cool. I don't know what this is. This is a beach. We need, uh, this is ocean, but uh, over here is beach. We needed beach because we didn't have any beach biomes. Hey, it's a Psyduck. And the only, uh, there were, there were some Pokemon that only spawn on beaches. So I guess, Albert, where are your, where are your clothes, bro? Uh, so I guess we made some beaches, although some of the terrain is definitely a little tweaked out. But look at this. This looks really cool. Let's get rid of that. Psyduck, I don't know if he's rare or if we just didn't have him spawning before. Should we try to catch him? Let's try to catch him. I did catch something. Oh, I caught a turt twig and a jigglypuff. I don't know if those are rare either, but I hadn't seen them. Uh, let's see. He's only level 10, so I got a Kubon on my bar. Why don't I use him? Uh, Pokemon? Kubon. Kubon! That's enough. Good. Get it. Fight. False swipe. Now you guys told me that I was using false swipe wrong. Uh, I was under a very mistaken impression, which is why I didn't, I thought I was under, I thought that it would always take them down to one hit point, which didn't make any sense to me, because I was like, if that was true, then why wouldn't you just always use him? But it's not true. <laughs> and that's why it's not true. It, it will do its normal amount of damage, it's just, it'll never kill them. It'll just make sure that it has at least one hit point left so that you can capture them, which is awesome. So I caught the Psyduck. I don't know if that's rare or not, but yay, we got a Psyduck. And look at this cool thing. Uh, this, oh, and some slow pokes, some crabby. So it must be beach along the shore. Okay, so river. Is it beach up here? Beach. And then what is it up here? desert okay so this is kind of what I was actually expecting it to, to look like I don't know what that is but this is what I was expecting where it was a desert but it was covered in clay instead of sand so that it looked kind of like a mesa biome even though it's totally not a mesa biome it was a, a hand ah it was a handmade mesa biome bubble beam in your face suck it geo dude geo dude if you guys watched MC's episode where he's like all Giovanni and he plays that song at the end of the episode it's it's in my head all the time. Oh my gosh, everybody's got to be all up in my face. I don't want to fight you. Oh, we leveled up. Oh yeah, we're leveling up because I've got the XP shared on uh, Arrow Dude. Arrow Dude, yeah, he needs a name too. All my guys need names. Yeah, there's not a whole lot here, although I like that there's palm trees. This is cool. So this is one of the new islands. This is why we, we reset. We didn't reset, but we fixed things because now we're going to have clay for days, clay for days. And there's supposedly one, ah, I guess the aggro on these guys is really strong. The ag on the gravelers and geodudes. I think there's one more island that he made special for, 
uh, Aurelian. Ooh, ooh, is this yellow clay? Well, that's kind of cool. We got some yellow clay. Pa oh my gosh! At least I don't take long. In your face! In your face! I don't see any Poke Centers either. This is kind of cool. I like that there's just random spots of different colored clay. That looks cool. I guess what he did is he probably replaced like grass with orange, dirt with one, uh, sand with one, stone with one. That worked out well. It doesn't give you the cool striations that uh, an actual mesa biome has, but it works well for what we've got. And then it looks like he's got I don't know what he used to replace this, but I like that there's also this kind of clay because I thought that that would still be really rare, and apparently it's not. And then we've got some cool beach. Now, I don't really know where this other special seat. Oh my gosh, crab in my face! We're gonna bubble beam you, level 31 crab. Suck it! And my aerodactyl grew. Good job, aerodactyl. So we've got trees that way. There's supposed to be one more island. I don't know if we're gonna be able to find it. Oh, but that looks it looks so strange with the white dots but I kind of like it it's like uh alien almost like I feel like I'm on Mars ah slow poke do I just have like impolio on like super aggro or something why is everybody attacking me can't a guy just climb through a mountain without everybody and his mother getting all up in oh my god Okay, I will, I'm going to look for that other island, and I will bring you guys back if I find it. That's where we came from. That is the desert where Paul Soros lives. And now, in the distance, there is a pink eye. And it would be called a pink eye because it is a pink eye, eh? Let's go see it. Turn around, buddy. Turn around. Let us fly over the pink isle. <laughs> it looks amazing. That actually looks really cool. It looks even more alien, but I like it. It looks alien in a really cool way. I wonder if Aurelian will actually decide to live here. <clears throat> she was. We were talking in the Skype chat. Oh, I didn't mean to send him out again. And basically she was like, I want some... We were like, add this, add this, add this. Everybody was throwing in ideas of what they wanted to be added to the to the ed new map and she said just something pink <laughs> so Terrace made a pink island so you know what we're gonna do we're gonna go to this peak over here I think this is the highest point looks like the high other than the trees the the green trees with the pink kind of contrast nicely let's go here to the top of this point right here perfect perfect what what biome is this plains that's funny it doesn't look like a plains and let's uh hmm I'm out of picks. I, did, I took this one off my bar because I didn't want it to break. Uh, let's put a workbench down, and then let's put a sign on top of it. Let's see. They would probably come in from the direction that we came in, so probably from this direction. And let's say, welcome to Pink Eye. <laughs> and then we're going to say, just fun. Uh, what did I do here? Just fun licked everything licked everything uh, I gotta I gotta lick wait 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 licked yes everything cool <laughs> I leave the workbench there too uh, what's that what is that is that oh so it looks like that I guess the island kind of wraps around like that so there's another island now uh, another kind of wow look at all these Pokemon so that's where Paul Soros li lives, and now there's like a little sandbar, and then it, it connects to another desert island. I'm not going to take any of this clay. Ooh, is this a boss? That is a boss. It's a bossy ride on. Come to me, bro. Oh, wait. I don't want you, though. I want it to be Elsa. Elsa, bro. <laughs> can we get him? Did we get the Rapidash? We got the Rapidash. I don't want the Rapidash. We can take out the Rapidash. No problem there. Rapidashery. I still have not gotten a Master Ball, so maybe this- ooh, level 70. But Rhyhorn should be weak against water, right? Wow, that was amazing. Ancient power. The user attacks with a prehistoric power. It may also use- it may also raise all the user's stats at once. I don't- see, I don't know, is that good? Do I want that? I should, like, live stream this, because then you guys could tell me what to do, but to me that doesn't sound like it's useful at all. So we're gonna- we're gonna give it up. 
Suck it. Okay. <gasps> oh. that's a, I know that's a premier ball. Heal ball. Sludge wave protect. Okay, cool. It's not the master ball. I really want a master ball. I don't have a master ball yet, you guys. I don't got a tree in my inventory. I don't want to carry around a tree. Look at all these Pokemon just like derping. What is that? <gasps> oh, that's a Fluffy. I thought that was a seal. I know MC was looking for a seal. Although I think he found a seal. Look at all these le feathers everywhere. My goodness. Why is everybody ch chilling on the shore here? Is this a different biome? Plains, no? They're just all chilling right here instead of like in all of the other area that they could be chilling. Look at this little teeny tiny Nidoran female. Okay, well cool. Let's, you know what we should do? Let's pop back on to this guy and let's take a nice aerial view of it. Aerial up, up, up and away. Oh, let's go back into F5 mode so that things are a little less trippy. Yeah, that looks cool. And then now we can see kind of how it connects over here. Neat. Good job, Terrace. There's a few little glitches here and there, but for the most part, very good. The bad thing about that pink clay is that you're not going to be able to dye it. The rest of it is hardened, so it won't be stained already. But, no, what is this? Desert. Okay, so it is desert. But, uh, if anybody ever wants pink clay, or there was red or purple over there too? Gray, maybe? Not so bad. So, great, great stuff. Okay, so I'm going to head back home now, I think. And, uh... Maybe we'll do a final screenshot of all of us with our new Eevee. And we're back home, safe and sound. Hooray! I feel like I didn't get anything accomplished today, and yet I know that I did. Because we went on a tour, we saw the new islands, and we got ourselves a new a new Pokemon. Actually, we got several new Pokemon, but the important one is not even on my bar. <laughs> not that smart of a man. We got a new Leafeon. No, they're not Leafeons. It's called Eevee, Eevee, Water, Vaporeon. There we go. That's what they're called. Do we want to bring anybody else out? Did I guys show you guys the tiny little Growlithe? I will show you guys the tiny little Growlithe. Let's put him polio away for a second. I'm always a little afraid of like dropping people out of my computer because I know they glitch sometimes, but we'll, we'll use this. We'll see how it goes. So first of all, let me show you the tiny, tiny Growlithe. <laughs> I named it Tiggy Lee because I, uh, Liggy T, li, li, Tiggy Lee is, a, is the girl on the server who loves the Growlithes. She's like 15 and like tiny and cute. And, and so I wanted to show it to her and she was like, name it Tiggy. And I was like, I can't name it Tiggy, but I decided to name it Tiggy, Liggy T instead of Tiggy Lee. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm stupid. I thought that was cute. And let us look at our beautiful Glaceon, our beautiful Leafeon, and our beautiful Vaporeon. I've got them all. So yeah, I guess there's seven different types, right? So you could have an entire party of Eevees, which I think is kind of crazy, but also kind of cool. And I like the models for them. I think they're cute, you know, with the little leaf tail. He's got like the little watery face. They're all like variations of each other. Although the fire one, the model, at least on the wiki, looks terrible. So I don't know if uh, that one hasn't been updated yet, or what? But let's see if we can get a group shot of all- Is this my sign? Yes, that is still, <laughs> still my sign. I moved it because it was kind of hidden before. Oh, look at them. They're following me. Wait, will they follow me? If I just walk, will they always follow me? Oh my god, that's a perfect way to- Oh, they'll teleport. They're like dogs. They'll teleport. Let's, let's- Let's just walk a little bit. Oh wait, I don't want you guys in the picture. Oh, I thought that was a... By the way, I fought another... Uh, it was like a level 106 or something insane. Um, it was like a Graveler or something again. And he didn't drop anything super amazing, but it was really cool. I didn't record it, though. Sorry. Uh, this is not grouping shot as well as I wanted it to be. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys, as always, for watching. There's my Leafeon's butt. <laughs> <laughs> They're all butt shots! Yes, butt shots. Butt shots for all! <laughs> anyway, thank you guys as always for watching. My name is Vaughn, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye! Oh, poked a hole in that.